In recent years, the naval forces of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, have been on an upward trajectory, witnessing multiple leaps in progress under the leadership of Rear Admiral Tang Siri. With the approach of the Ten Day Dawn, celebrating the victory of the Islamic Revolution, and the day of the IRGC, it is likely that new and diverse equipment will be unveiled and integrated into the IRGC naval forces. Over the past few years, this force has introduced a wide range of products in the air, surface, and subsurface domains. By carefully examining recent developments, it becomes clear that the IRGC Navy has consistently acquired larger and more advanced equipment across various sectors. In the surface domain, some of the most prominent products unveiled in recent years include the Shahid Soleimani class vessels, equipped with Nawab and Sayed 3 air defense missiles, the Abu Mahdi class vessels featuring the Kosar air defense missile, and the Zulfikar class defense boats armed with Nawab air defense missiles. In the subsurface domain, various unmanned submarines have been unveiled and integrated in recent years. However, the IRGC Navy has not stopped there and has ordered the construction of several 550-ton Fateh submarines from the Ministry of Defense. In the aerial domain, various kamikaze drones and small vertical takeoff and landing VTOL drones are in service with this force. Additionally, medium-class drones such as the Ababel 5 and Mohajir 6 are part of the IRGC Naval Forces arsenal. However, like in other areas, the IRGC Navy has not stopped at this stage in the aerial domain, and is seeking to employ more specialized and advanced drones. One of the drones that will soon join the force is the Mohajir 10. The Mohajir 10 is the latest drone unveiled by the Ministry of Defense. According to its designer, this product was developed in response to the needs of the IRGC ground and naval forces, as well as the Army ground forces. The Mohajir 10 has received numerous electronic upgrades compared to its predecessors. For example, the multispectral reconnaissance system unveiled with this drone is reportedly the most advanced version among Iranian drones. According to Admiral Rastigari, CEO of the Electronics Industries Organization of the Ministry of Defense, the range of this advanced optical system reaches 30 kilometers. A few months after the unveiling of the Mohajir 10, this advanced optical system was also observed on the Shahed 147 drone. With 24-hour flight endurance and the ability to carry a 300-kilogram payload, the Mohajir 10 represents a significant upgrade compared to the Mohajir 6 and Ababil 5. Additionally, this drone, equipped with an internal bay, has the capability to carry electronic warfare systems and synthetic aperture radar, SAR, making it highly effective in maritime patrol operations. It is believed that the Mohajir 10 might be one of the candidates for deployment on the Shahid Bagheri drone carrier ship. However, even more significant than the Mohajir 10 is a unique and special drone that is expected to be unveiled soon. According to Rear Admiral Tang Siri, this drone, developed in collaboration between the IRGC Naval Forces and the Ministry of Defense, opens up a new horizon in the field of drone technology. Additionally, a short while ago, IRGC spokesperson Brigadier General Naini announced that the IRGC will soon unveil a unique drone. Given this statement, it is highly likely that a heavy or medium-heavy jet-powered drone will be unveiled. This is because a large number of propeller-driven drones have already been developed and operationalized in Iran, making it unlikely that another propeller-driven drone would be introduced as a unique system. Let us now explore a few jet-powered drone projects by the Ministry of Defense that are awaiting unveiling. The most intriguing option is the Kahair drone, which aligns with the level of technology described by the IRGC Naval Forces Commander. If you have watched our previous videos, you are probably familiar with the news about the Kahair drone. Satellite images of the Shahid Bagheri drone carrier showing an object resembling this drone, along with statements by Amir Kajay Fard regarding flight tests of this drone, strongly suggest that the IRGC is likely to adopt the Kahair drone. This jet-powered stealth-designed drone is a milestone in Iran's drone industry and paves the way for a new era in heavy drone development. The Kahair drone features an internal weapons bay for carrying arms and equipment, angular lines and surfaces, and top-body air inlets, all of which adhere to stealth design principles. An interesting point about the mission of this drone dates back to last year. At that time, 
Rear Admiral Tung Siri mentioned the development of two air-launched defensive missiles with ranges of 4 and 17 kilometers for countering drones and cruise missiles. Given that the IRGC naval forces lacked a suitable aerial platform to carry these missiles at that time, it was assumed to be a verbal slip, possibly referring to sea-launched defensive missiles rather than air-launched ones. However, with the IRGC naval forces now employing new drones, it is plausible that specific air-to-air -air missiles have been developed for these drones. It should be noted that the mass production of the Karar Interceptor drone by the Ministry of Defense means that the Kahair is not Iran's first experience with interceptor drones. Nevertheless, it is also possible that the mention of air-launched defensive missiles was a verbal slip. Regardless, the IRGC naval forces have adopted the Majid missile which has previously been tested in an air-to-air -air role with the Karar drone. Additionally, the Kosar-200 and Kosar-222 defensive missiles, with ranges of 7 and 17 kilometers respectively, are among the new defensive armaments of this force. The Kwahir drone can also be equipped with long-range air-to-surface bombs and missiles, allowing it to engage surface targets from very high altitudes. Apart from this, in the Navy of the Army, the Karar drone is used for torpedo launching, and it is possible that we may witness the same capability in the Kahair drone as well. Ultimately, to have a sufficient understanding of the Kahair drone's missions, we must wait for its unveiling. The next subject is the Sajil drone. This agile stealth drone has been developed by the Ministry of Defense and is a suitable platform for deployment on the ocean-going vessels of the IRGC Navy. The Sajil is launched using a booster and lands with a parachute, requiring no runway for takeoff and landing. Previously, the Army Navy announced its order for this twin-engine drone to be used on its ships, although it has not yet unveiled it. Similar to the American XQ-58 project, a container-launched version of the Sajil can be prepared for use on any vessel capable of carrying containers. By adding landing gear to the Sajil, it might even be launched from the deck of the Shahid Bagheri ship. Considering the design of the mock-up of this drone, it seems possible to develop versions with folding wings or detachable wings to be deployed in large numbers on IRGC vessels. Other features of the Sajil include its stealth design, a speed of 1,000 km per hour, and the capability to carry bombs with a range of 100 km. The next jet-powered drone from the Ministry of Defense is the Mobin drone, which was first seen at the MKS exhibition. This drone, measuring 3 meters in length and weighing 670 kg, can carry 120 kg of armaments, and required equipment. According to the information provided by the Iranian pavilion at the Russian military exhibition, the Mobin can ascend to an altitude of 45,000 feet and fly continuously for 45 minutes at speeds of up to 900 kilometers per hour. This Iranian drone, given its ability to fly at low altitudes and its very low radar cross-section, also possesses stealth capabilities and was initially introduced as a stealth cruise missile. Overall, the Mobin is smaller than the Kahair and Sajil drones, and it is unlikely to be the promised drone of the IRGC unless it is deployed in large-scale group operations. The final case is the Gadir drone, which, according to some analyses and speculations, is a jet-powered flying wing drone with a design similar to the American X-47. The development of this drone has been ongoing for several years, but it has not yet been officially unveiled with only a vague mock-up seen so far.